Last year saw a major increase in venture uh, capital investment into the financial services industry, with over $12 billion invested globally. So that you know, prompts the question of why and, and what impact is that having? Where is in this investment you know, driving technology now? So Debbie, as someone who sort of has feet in both camps, right? Big established bank, cutting edge venture firm. Let's start with you. Where are you seeing investment in technology driving finance? Across the board, frankly. You know, of course, Citi goes from consumer banking to small and medium business to global, you know, institutional banking, and we're seeing it in every part of our business. I think it was, you know, fascinating when we saw uh, the governor of the Bank of England uh, stand up at Davos and saying, we're about ready to have an Uber moment in finance. And the, the influx of this is way beyond technology now. Now we're really witnessing new business models, and that's where we're seeing great upending of traditional businesses. And I thought it was interesting, Hank Paulson yesterday saying, the, the pace is so fast it's violent. And so it's really in critical that we're all stepping into that in a very bold way. There's a lot of new companies in fintech. It's not as clear to me that technology is what's driving the innovation. So I actually don't see that much technology in most of the fintech companies um, in the market. There's not. There's nothing deeply. There's no new technology. There's no new inventions in the way that, you know, Google invented something superior. We're applying. You know, you can bank online. That's. We have a lot of online apps. You can do things. You can use data to underwrite things. This seems like something that's been done for a long time. Uh, what's the difference is it's, it's that the banks have pulled back significantly and left a void of services for people who used to have no other choices. And venture capitalists have come in and funded these companies and they've built what I would call mostly basic technology. Machine learning being maybe the one exception where some interesting things are actually happening and it's new. And so <clears throat> or in the cryptocurrency space. But yeah, but that's not a significant, name me a significant company in cryptocurrency that if it didn't exist you'd have anything, you know, how does that affect people's lives? Indirectly, like Ripple Labs, I think is a much. That's definitely a high-tech company that's trying to to revolutionize multi-currency settlement. If you want to buy drugs or uh, fake passports online, you're right. You've been deeply affected by the fintech revolution. 